uh, Kamla Kluche is still with us, our Chief Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent. And the news we just got um, not too long ago, uh, a deputy minister uh, is reported to have been involved in an accident. We're going to show live videos of, of this coming through from Parliament right now. There you see it. That's the ambulance, uh, which my colleague Kamala Kluche referred to earlier, carrying this deputy minister, who is also a member of Parliament, was involved in an accident uh, not too long ago. And this ambulance left Parliament some few minutes ago, we understand, just some few minutes ago, this ambulance has left Parliament with the member of Parliament in there and all, who is also a deputy minister. That's what you see there. That's him on the, on the stretcher and being, being put in the ambulance, unfortunately. That's, that's, that's the development that we're seeing right now. Uh, videos coming through from Parliament. Uh, what's happened not too long ago, some few minutes ago, this, this, this is happening right as we speak. Um, the development to what you're watching is that the ambulance has conveyed the said deputy minister who is also a member of parliament to a health facility. That is information that we have. So this is the video you're seeing now of what's happened. Come up. So um, now we have, yes, that's what the, the, the ambulance is, is moving uh, now. Uh, do we have any information about whether or not this development is going to impact on the voting or the decision on the three revenue bills uh, which is, uh, from what you understand, the last item for Parliament to decide on before they go on recess. Uh, are the leaders taking this into consideration so as to either wait for him to be attended to and brought back, or they're still going to go ahead and vote without him, which is obviously going to impact on the NPP's numbers? Well, from, from what I'm, I'm just picking up inside the chamber is that the the excise duty amendment uh, bill that has that has just been passed because the numbers from what the speaker said he counted what uh, he saw the speaker uh, hit the gavel indicating that 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 has been passed so one out of the the three has been passed, meaning we're left with the income tax and then the growth and sustainability uh, levy uh, bill. That so it means that the excise duty amendment bill has been passed just just a short while ago, whilst we were on air. The speaker's gavel has gone off, indicating that that has been passed. So it's left with the income tax amendment uh, bill and then a growth and sustainability levy bill. The the growth and the sustainability, we know that's that's going to be raking in much of the amount over two billion. That's going to be bringing. Um, that is yet to be considered. Now, I think what's going on is the the amendment on some of the clauses uh, for the second reading, and after that, uh, then we see a vote on it. If it's anything to go by, maybe the NDC MPs may be advancing it. That okay, once you're shot with one, it cannot happen. So it means that if 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 that's anything to go by, I have not seen the deputy minister come come back uh, uh, that that MP or the deputy minister come back into the chamber yet. If the NDC MPs will base on this to have it uh, rejected, that would be a different matter altogether. But as we speak, uh, I do not get that impression. If the the deputy minister is able to come back into the house before so now the voice vote is going down and so it, it, i'm i'm not too sure i'm not too sure how it's going to be so um but what the development is that one of the three revenue bills has been passed it's been it's been passed in, and approved by parliament now that's yes, the, one of the, the the excise duty amendment bill absolutely that's that 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 I'm picking up has just been passed. I see. So now we have the growth and sustainability, and then the income tax amendment bill, which is left. Yes. Wow. Okay. So come on, appreciate it, and uh, I know you. That's going to be a long night for you. Um, but thank you so much for for the great stuff that you do. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Kamala Kluche is 
our chief parliamentary affairs correspondent. Parliament is still in session, as you saw there. And stay with us on 3news.com. We're going to update you on whether the, the two other revenue bills will be approved or disapproved because of this development of a deputy minister who is also a member of parliament who has been involved in an accident not too long ago, some few minutes ago. And um, the, the, the videos we got from parliament, take a look. So that's the development now. The good thing is that there's an ambulance that has attended to him and he has been conveyed to a health facility to be taken care of. It's, we, as Kamala stated, it's not too clear whether Parliament is going to be in session and wait to have him come and cast his vote, or the NPP will still go ahead with this, regardless of how this is going to impact on their numbers. And you know, this eight Parliament has all been about the numbers game. Already, the NPP has lost a member of Parliament. The MP for Kumewu is gone, who, who unfortunately he died just about a week ago. Today, the Speaker of Parliament declared the Kumewu seat vacant, awaiting a by-election. And then this has happened as well. So you see the dynamics um, and how things will play out. Uh, so we're watching quite closely how things are playing out in Parliament. So stay with us.